Hi there. Today I'm joined by Sarah Jackman-Reed. Hello. And Sarah's going to show us a beautiful gift bag and gift idea that you can create using the Botanicals decoupage and showing us that it's not just for cards. So perfect for all your paper craft projects. Now there's some great techniques featuring on this project so we can tell you everything there is to know about decoupage, how to layer up and so on, and also some great tips for getting the most from your decoupage. Right, Sarah, what are we going to get up to first? We're going to start with our Fair Basics gift bag. Wonderful. Which are lovely anyway, but I thought we'd just sort of decorate it lovely, a little bit. Lovely craft colour. So we've got Botanicals decoupage oh, here. These are beautiful, aren't they? They're like properly sort of vintage, like almost like etchings yes, from lovely. an old book, aren't they? I'm going to start with this frame. That one, that one. Lovely. So obviously it's very quick, don't have to do any measuring. So you just pop them out, out, don't you? Just this pop is because it's die cut decoupage. Yeah, I'm just going to use that middle piece. Lovely. That will basically be my first. Frame. So we're just going to pop him on there. Fantastic. Well, first of all, I need to just measure around that. Okay. You have to be careful that you don't get in the way of the handles. Oh, so okay. Obviously it's so better there. if you can put that slightly down. Oh, because like we're going to so. make a little window, aren't we? So yes, we can so see I'm going to basically gift. draw okay. around that piece first. Nothing too uh, intricate. I'm just going to go around that edge and take that off. A little bit fiddly. Yeah. Okay, so that is just basic little aperture we've created. Okay. That's good. It's fairly straightforward. Very nice. I've got a piece of acetate there. Oh, yeah. So we will just cover that. So we'll go. Just on there. And turn oh, this see. over. Just cut near to the edge as possible. Again, it's clear, so you're not really going to see no. it, are you? So, okay, and that just basically goes on there. Beautiful. I'll use this again. Very nice. So. And there's just our little aperture. Very it's nice. Really so we've quick. Got a little, uh... Hello. <laughs> so we need a piece of paper just to fit in the back there. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. So we've got a little piece there. And then again, you can glue it all the way down, or you can just literally. Are you just popping a little bit on the edge there? Stuff. And that will keep it. So you just, just keep it in place. You there. just popped a little bit just in the in the top there, yes. didn't you? Again, Brilliant. You could put a bit of PVA or something in there. So that's our basic beautiful front. I'm going to use some of these layers. Fantastic. I'm not going to use the, the, the first one, but I shall probably use the other. Three or four. Because this is one of those moments where that one, it's a perfectly lovely topper all on its own, isn't it? So you yes, can, like, again, we're not, we're not using it, we'll it, save it, make, a, make your card maybe exactly. using that one. Okay, so we've got a few pads on there, or you could use silicone glue if silicone you Silicone glue is a good to. one. I mean, I, I think that gives you a really good effect, doesn't it? I, I sometimes, obviously it takes a little bit longer to dry, you need it to does. leave it overnight, It'll don't be you? be a bit more sturdy. Yeah. And stick. <laughs> I'll do one of those as well. He's probably dried up a little bit in our hot studio he lights. Has, <laughs> yes. It's very hot. He's given up. <laughs> okay, so we'll just pop that on there. Beautiful. And as you can see, Sarah's just popping her hand in the bag there to, just to let her it push it down. Place. Okay, so we need a little sentiment now. Definitely. With that. I've got these lovely die cuts. Oh, lovely. So obviously you can... 
match them to any colour. So these are obviously the X-cut dyes, aren't they? They are, yes. And you get loads of different sentiments in there. We've got oh, uh, to and from, with love, many thanks, best wishes, happy birthday. So we're going for with love. Very nice. Got a piece of that paper again left over. I'm good. So we need to pop that in the machine. Do you want me to do the honours? Yes, please. So we're going to pop it with the die, with a blade bit of the die. Well, I say blade, it's not really a blade, but the cutting edge facing up. That's right. Aren't we? So we've got our sentiment there. And as you okay. can see, it's backwards currently, doesn't it? But we can pop him out. Yes, they're, they're really easy to pop okay. out. You've got these little holes here. And then we just carefully, with your tool, gently poke them out. Because helpfully there's little holes, isn't there? It's brilliant. In the back, which helps you get it out. You could also use the, uh, the quick release foam that's, uh, oh, yes. that's available that's uh, really useful for this. So then the, the, dark, the bit of paper just drops straight out, doesn't it, as well? It's brilliant. There we go. That's beautiful, isn't it? Look how delicate that is. So I've got one of these brilliant glue pens. Fantastic. Which are ideal for Because that's a problem, isn't it? It's so sort of fine and delicate. You, you don't want your, sh your, um, your glue to be showing through, do no. you? Now you snipped him in half. That's nice. But we're just going to literally put a bit of that on. Okay. Lovely. So as you can see, I mean, that was really, that's really, really, lovely. really quick, isn't it? Just to build that up. Very nice. We've got a little tag there. And has that just come out of one of the, the decoupage it's, packs? Yeah. It's come out of the die cut sentiment ah, packs. Ah, okay. But again, you could use any of these. Yeah. I've used, a, I've got a couple here. This one's a lovely sort of, you know, vertical tag, isn't it, that one? Okay, so we put that through there. Lovely. Very nice. Then we'll just cut the ends off there. This little fish tail. Yeah. Very nice. So we could sort of stick that on the bag, mm -hmm. or I think I'm going to. Oh, I love these. Just put it on my peg. These are one of my favourite. They're things, so good, aren't they? They're, they're they're like a giant peg. First of all, I suppose they're not that giant, they're wide, aren't they? Just makes it a little bit more, something a bit more special, doesn't it? Instead of just, you know, maybe tying exactly. a knot or something in just, around the handle. An and it's an extra little gift as well, actually, isn't it? You can keep that. Yeah. Always pop a little bit of magnet on the back, maybe using it as a yeah. fridge magnet later on. So again, it just hold the, hold the bag in place. Brilliant. And then really, you can add as much or as little as you like. Yeah. Just looking at the one you've done over here, so you've added another. I've just added another little here. Yes, you? I've just cut some strips of paper ah. so you could put your little. Did you just do that by hand, or I did, did you put it through your shredder? Just a piece of this, um, the decoupage paper. Beautiful. You could put it through the shredder, and then you can just put perhaps little, tiny little nice. gifts and things inside it, and yeah. just hide them all away, and you've just got a little Lovely. sneaky. Peak. And you've you've decorated the sides as I well have. here. And I've again, I've used the. Um, the decoupage paper because it's slightly. Oh, yeah. So this is the one for the. For like you were doing like flat decoupage. Sort of yes. Old school decoupage. It is. So and it's because it's slightly thinner. It's ideal for these side pieces. Oh, I see. But again, you know, you could put it on there. Well, you, can, you could do the back as well, couldn't you? you yeah, You could just keep definitely. going really. But that's just. And I've just. Wonderful. Ink the edges very slightly with a. Oh yeah, that looks pad, great. Just to give it a bit more of a sort of age look. I really like that. It's really nice to see decoupage on something other than a card. Beautiful. Oh. And that's just something I'm sort of, again, just to show, these are just like the little bits. Oh, I see. All punched out. So these might be the, like the leftovers that yes, maybe exactly. you've used like a couple of the main layers and then these if you didn't They're want to They're ideal for on. something like that because they're slightly smaller. So this is just a regular... That's sort of just PVA on there. Regular candle. Obviously, you want to be a little bit careful with paper with um, candles, but obviously, this is on the outside of your glass. Yes. You don't want to put it on no, the inside. Or you could would just you? use a pretend candle. Like an yeah. LED one. Um, if you've enjoyed Sarah's projects, you can find um, all the lists of all the supplies she's used uh, at docrafts.com, along with step-by-step um, -step instructions as well. Um, we'd really like to see what you've been making as well. So why don't you upload your project to docrafts.com as well, and we can pop along and leave you a comment. Until next time, happy crafting.